What's up guys? Today I'm making an ESB, but that's not what this video is going to be about. There's plenty of videos for that. What I'm going to talk about today is the upgrade that I made on my system to have a more efficient mash. I know typically most guys use like an igloo cooler with the false bottom. There's nothing wrong with that. But I, do know, I did notice that it limits you on the amount of beer that you can make because even the 10 gallon is just not big enough. So what I did is I upgraded to a stainless steel mash tun. But the problem with that is it's not insulated like an igloo, uh, like the Gatorade igloo uh, coolers are. So the problem was I was losing heat really fast, even with the lid, even with the insulated. So after doing a little bit of research, I come across a couple articles on the Herms system and on the rim system. And doing a little research, I need I understood what exactly a heat exchanged recirculated mash system was or herm system and I also learned what a rims system was which is a recirculated infusion mash system so what I decided to do so since I'm not real wise with all the electrical components um, but I do understand what a heat exchanger is and how to make that work and how to incorporate that into my system so right now I'm in the middle of my mash and I'm going to show you what my Herm system accomplishes. Okay guys, so right now I'm wanting to have my mash set at 152. And you can see I'm sitting at 151.3, which is really close and that's fine. But I want to increase the temperature so that I'm right at 152. So in the past, what I had done is put a direct flame underneath, but you run the risk of scorching it so easy and you can make your beer taste like a smoked campfire beer. And that's not what you want out of any ESB or any other beer for that matter, in my opinion. Anyways, this is what my heat exchanged, let's see, Herms, heat exchanged recirculated mash system looks like. I'm gonna be coming out of the bottom of my mash tun, coming up through the top, and basically all it's doing is come back out. Now that's not heating anything up. But what that loop does over to my mash uh, hot liquor tank, that's where I'm going to get my extra heat. So right now it's just recirculating. And if I opt to go to my heat uh, exchanger over to my hot liquor tank, all I do is open up this valve. It goes into a coil inside of my hot liquor tank, which you could make this out of 3 8 if you needed to. It picks up some of that heat, which is sitting at... Oh, right now it's in at 160, so I probably should heat it up a little bit more. But it's going to take some of that heat, draw it up, and dump it and recirculate it, redistribute uh, it, and put it into my mash. And that's how I'm going to control my temperature. Uh, another benefit of doing that, guys, is whenever you're getting ready for your mash, I used to have to account for my heat loss because as I would transfer some of my strike water into my mash done, the water going through my plumbing system up through here hitting the atmosphere it would lose a good five degrees or plus so now with pumping that water into here i could actually recirculate it through my mash uh through my hot liquor tank until i hit my target temperature then i can go ahead and go in and and it just makes it so easy so i hope what this does is it enlightens you guys so you guys can understand how easy uh, an upgrade like this can be yeah it might not be easy to install you might have some questions on exactly what kind of hardware and things like that I got. Um, mostly just copper and flux and solder and a torch. Um, and by doing just this upgrade, it's going to make my mash just that much more easily to control. Not to mention I can do a step mash if I wanted to do a lot of the six row, American six row. I know that that benefits from having a, uh, a, a step mash if you want to do a protein rest at say 100 and 22, 25 degrees. Uh, also, if you add a lot of adjuncts like rice and corn, flaked maize, then that also benefits from a protein rest. So now with the upgrade of the Herm system, guys, I'm gonna be able to do that. So I hope that this gives you guys some information so that it can inspire you guys to wanna upgrade your system. If you guys have any questions on how I did my system, you know I'm good to give you a response back. So if you guys like the video, click like, appreciate it, and leave a comment, just tell me you know, you appreciate the information. Whatever you guys want to say, say what's up to easy. See you.